my name is Eva and welcome to this channel. And today we're talking all about a really cool theory about turn-offs and turn-ons. This video might be helpful for you if you're confused about why you aren't feeling super turned on sometimes or why you might be feeling super turned on a lot of the time and how you can kind of understand your body and take that back into control so that you can have the type of sex that you want to have. So the theory that I'm going to be talking about today is called the dual control model of sexual response. You might be able to get an idea what it does based on the dual portion of it. It means that your sexual responses are based on two systems in your brain, an excitatory one and an inhibitory one. The excitatory one we can think of as your body's gas pedal. I'm bisexual, which means that I can't drive, but assuming that we all know how cars work, <laughs> the gas pedal. So that means that your brain all the time is noticing sights and sounds and smells and thoughts that could be sexually relevant and turn you on. And those will all tell your brain to go and get turned on. The inhibitory process is your brain noticing all those same things, but noticing things that might be a threat or that might be turnoffs. Brain will put on the brakes. Everyone has different sensitivities of their gas pedal and their brake. So some people find that it's easier to press that gas pedal. Some people find themselves more sensitive to things that might be turnoffs, and all of that is totally normal. Also, we have all sorts of fun societal turnoffs like in most places grow up getting education that sex is gross and scary. Other common turnoffs that you might be afraid of getting pregnant. You might be worried about too, taking too long to orgasm, taking not enough time to orgasm, worrying about how your body looks, worrying about whether your partner really likes you. All of these can be potential things that slam on your brakes. So you can probably see where I'm going with this. If you want your brain to be in the mood for sexy things, you want to increase all of your gas pedal things, so you want your partner to smell really nice, if you like that, read some really good erotica with them or before you see them. And then you also want to be minimizing all of those things that will push on your brakes. So you want to make sure that there are no housemates at home. <laughs> You want to wear really cute lingerie. Know that you feel really cute in your body. What the science says about this really awesome environment which allows all of your turn-ons to flourish and all of your turn-offs to kind of quiet down is one that has low stress, high affection, and high trust. And all of that can happen in both casual relationships or romantic relationships. So one last thing about creating this magical environment is that your body will actually respond to stimuli or to sensations differently depending on the context and how you're feeling. One example that's used a lot when people talk about that is tickling. So if you're feeling sexy and the person or persons that you like start tickling you, that might feel super fun and playful and flirty. However, if you are feeling really pissed off and the same person starts tickling you, um, they should probably duck. When you're thinking about getting sexy either with yourself or with someone else and creating a good environment, once you create this type of low stress environment, your body will actually react differently and will react to respond to these sensations or stimuli with curiosity and excitement as opposed to annoyance or fear or frustration. So environment is really important. So that is all that I have for this quick little video all about the science of turnoffs and turn-ons. If you want to learn more about this, I have linked a whole bunch of really awesome papers in the description all about it. If you don't have access to them via your university or other ways, feel free to email me and I can send them to you. Also, Emily Nagoski, author of this amazing book, Come As You Are, she writes a whole bunch more about this dual control model in her book. Uh, so I will link it in the description as well as a really awesome TED talk she did if you want the condensed version. But yeah, let me know. Um, did this kind of piece together things that you already knew about your sexuality or spark anything new that you want to try? Leave it in the comments below. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Like this video if you like it and subscribe if you aren't already. There's a bunch of cool things going on here on this channel. So join, join the fam. We can keep learning about sex science. But yeah, that's all for me today. Have a lovely day.